hello students welcome to my channel today i am going to discuss about arrays of unions variables so in the previous classes we have seen arrays of structure variables okay so in this class we will think about we will talk about arrays of union variables so till now we have seen arrays of basic data types those are int float characters okay but now we will see how to make arrays of union variables we all know array is nothing but it is a collection of different data types stored in a continuous memory locations but the condition is array is used to only store collection of similar data items for suppose if you want to store one then you need to store all the integer variables okay so here arrays of union variables so union is nothing but it is a collection of different data types stored in a continuous memory location so but the difference between structure and union is union saves the memory comparing with structures so here union is used to store collection of different types of data in a continuous memory location okay so here the syntax for union is union is the keyword student is the union name next int roll number char name char div division okay so here so roll number int has 4 bytes of memory char has 2 bytes and next char has 2 bytes so in union the highest memory size is occupied okay so first roll number so roll number is stored in the memory location so 101 next if you want to store the name then roll number is replaced with name suppose sai okay next if you want to store div then name is replaced with division so here only one highest memory location memory size is occupied and all other variables are replaced the previous one so in this way the memory is used in the unions okay so let's see here syntax of array of union so here we already know that union is used to store different types of data okay int char okay so int roll number and next char name so this is a union of student okay stv is the union name so if you declare like this you can store one roll number and one name okay only one student details so that is 101 and next sai so if you want to store one more student detail that is 102 next radha okay if you want to store one more student detail 103 ram okay so if you want to store more than one more than one collection of data okay so more than one student details then you need to use array of union okay so union is used to store different types of data array is used to store the collection of similar data items so here roll number and name so here also roll number and name here also roll number and name so this is similar type of data so array is used to store similar type of data so the syntax for declaring array of union is union union name union variable name size of union size of array okay so first of all union union name so here union is the keyword union in name is the name of the union and next you need to create one union variable name okay next size so how many arrays you want so i want two arrays then you can store two student details if you 
given three you can store three student details like that okay so declaration of array of union student so void main declaration of union uh, student array is union union is the keyword union name is a student next union variable name is s and size is 10 so here you can store so this is the student okay so here we are created one union array variable array of union variable okay so here you can store 10 student details 10 students roll number 10 students name 10 students division okay so in this way array of union works okay so how to access member of union variable so we all know if you want to access the variables of array then you can use name of the array and index value okay as you know every array element has a unique index number which starts from zero index okay so every array element starts with zero index up to n minus one that is size minus one means first element will have index 0 and the second element will have index 1 and so on okay syntax for accessing the member of union array so if you want to access the member of union array union variable name index number dot member name okay for suppose so here you declared union student yes of 10 so here 10 student details are stored suppose 0 1 2 3 4 up to 10 okay so in this way the data will be stored the memory location is allocated so in this 0th array the values are roll number name and next one is division okay so in this one array it has roll number name division so in this roll number name division so in this way the values will be stored 10 student values will be stored so if you want to access any one of them then you need to use the syntax that is union variable name yes of index number so i want to use second one dot member is name okay so whatever stored in s2 s2 array the name will be accessed the name will be accessed okay so here index value is used to represent unique unique index unique array okay let's see syntax for accessing member of student array so if you want to use only if you want to access only member then student array name okay index number roll number so student array name is student and next index number is 2 then roll number so i want to use second array roll number second student roll number or third student roll number or fourth student roll number okay so if you want to access the name of the student particular student then you can give simply name if you want to access the division then you can simply give div so this is the syntax to access individual members of one union array array of union okay <clears throat> So this is the example so let's see void main program execution starts from main function next i am declaring one union so union student what is student so here student is the union name next i am declaring the members for union so int care div okay so memory location is allocated for this next i am taking one temporary variable that is i so next i am declaring 
द स्टूडे स्टूडेंट अरे ओके सो द सिंटैक्स इज यूनियन नेक्स्ट यूनियन नेम नेक्स्ट यूनियन वेरेबल नेम एंड साइज सो हियर यूनियन इज ए की वर्ड स्टूडेंट इज द यूनियन नेम एंड एस इज दूनियन अरे वेरेबल ओके सो हियर साइज इज थ्री सो एस जीरो नेक्स्ट वन इज एस वन नेक्स्ट वन इज एस टू द मेमोरी लोकेशन इज अलोकेटेड इन दिस वे ओके नेक्स्ट फॉर i is equals to zero, so I am storing zero in i. Next, zero less than three. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. Then enter the name of student. So I am asking user to enter the name of student. Okay. So where the name will be stored? Gets. So gets is a input function it is used to take input from the user so s of i value is 0 s of 0 so s of 0 the name will be stored okay next enter the roll number so i am asking user to enter the roll number and scanf is also one input function it is used to take the input from the user Next percentage is D. Yes of I. I value is zero again. Okay, so roll number will be stored. So I already told so I is replaced with roll number. Okay, next one is division. Okay, student division. Next roll number is roll number is replaced with division. Next. I value is incremented to one. One less than three is true. Next, enter the name of the student. So S of one dot name. So the name is stored in this place. Next, roll number is replaced with name. Next, division is replaced with roll number. Next, I value is incremented to two. Two less than three is true. Yes of two dot name. So next the name is stored in this place. Okay. Next roll number will be stored, and after that the division will be stored. Okay. Next I value is incremented to three. Three less than three is it true? No, it is false. So it exists from the exit from the program, exit from the loop. So in this way, array of union works. Okay. i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel Thank